Welcome to the Lock In Podcast, episode 19 now. Uh, thank you all for tuning in. Uh, I'm your host, Joel. Sean, say hello. No. <laughs> That's absolutely fine. How have you been this week, my friend? I'm all right, man. Yeah, it's been good. It's been um, it's been a, it's been a busy day, busy busy week even at work. Yeah. And else, but it's good. It's the weekend. I'm drinking. Nice. Uh, drinking whiskey in the most in a in a normal in a champagne glass because. Oh, very fancy. I, I was drinking champagne. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean you've both been drinking before this podcast as well, then. Yeah. What? Well, oh, what have you been drinking? I've been drinking. Uh, well, I was, I was drinking uh, Strongbow Dark Fruit as we had. Um, uh, like for Father's Day, obviously, um, we had mm-hmm. a, um, a celebratory like fish platter in. So I had a few uh, strongbow dart fruits while we while we ate our lovely fish platter. You had a fish platter. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I got ordered it in. So I had like crab, lobster roll, like a bit of everything. Because um, I had a fish platter. No way. Where did, where did <laughs> you, what, you uh, ordered a fish platter in? Yeah. Well, it's the, um, the restaurant down the end, of, end where I live, and everything else is a nice restaurant they had uh, like a cold seafood platter you can yeah buy and bring home and everything else so I, I did that for father's day and we had like a whole lobster no and crab and like some oysters and other things it was lovely <laughs> next week see next next week you say you went for a walk I d- mate you're not gonna believe this one i've gone for a walk today i mean i okay. think everyone has i don't think that's something i don't think that's something special <laughs> everyone goes for walks yeah but we both went for a walk we both had seafood are you are you literally just a negative version of me Ne- how would I be the negative? I'm the positive version of you. <laughs> no, you're the negative version of me. <laughs> oh, I'm I'm the original. I guess you're the older one, so I guess I'm the negative. <laughs> yeah, you are the negative. Mm. I, I, I think Sorry, so you're drinking I whiskey realized. now, I'm, though. I'm, yeah, I'm drinking. I'm drinking whiskey right now. Yeah. Oh, well, nice. after that, I'll be drinking the, my 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 beer of choice for every single podcast. Living dangerous. Proning. Now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like that yeah, what i'm actually drinking now by the way i've made myself something special oh go ahead i've made myself a tequila sunrise oh, that's pretty sexy let's see, let's see like um it's just very red i put too much green bean in that literally you know, like <laughs> do you like every single scene where someone dies in jewels yeah <laughs> just a load of blood water yeah it's that's yeah. what it is it's very red it's very it, it tastes a lot like grenadine um which is strange anyway i I welcome inmates i totally forgot to say hope you're putting up a drink as well like pick up a drink obviously we've had a few so slow start um but join us it'd be it'd be nice to do it nice for you to join in um the tequila sunrise i I actually want to do because of uh summer solstice i ordered tequila and grenadine to myself for today Um, because it's the longest day of the year today we're actually recording today on saturday yay yeah so the the shortest night is tonight so tomorrow morning will be the uh at 4 58 will sun will rise and that's the longest day of the year i feel like i did really not cool. I, I, I did not know that i yeah? i, I kind of don't care about that star wars stuff oh it's kind of cool like the I mean, longest I, day of the year i mean i haven't watched the uh, sunrise and everything else was that tonight was that was that this morning no that's tomorrow morning i'm i'm waking okay, up sweet. at 4 30 to no, go cause... see the sunrise and pour myself a tequila sunrise at that point to watch it come up. No, oh, I like it. I just, I just want to make sure because I did say I was going to join you for it and I was like... You did? <sighs> was it? Did I miss it? Have you missed it? <laughs> no, don't worry. We've got, we've got tomorrow. Because actually we've Sweet. spoken a couple of times this week. We actually had a, a chat with, with friends earlier in the week, didn't we? Yeah. For oh. a little bit before I had to go and go... I got work in the morning so I got to go about 5 o'clock in the morning yes. and go to bed. So you had to ditch a... off at like 10 or so to you get your early mornings yeah yeah but hey that's that's all right that was a it was good fun yeah it was good fun we did the twitch yeah. thing as well the first time we did yes so i think we said at last podcast we decided that we were going to do a twitch stream together um and on thursday seven thirty, we joined in our twitch we streamed chess um and how did that go sean uh he beat me <laughs> I want. I want to say it was close, but it it, it really wasn't. It was literally just. It, it, I want to. I want to use a word, but I don't think I can say it with the current climate. But it begins with R, ends in E, and it's a four-letter word. That's basically what Joel did to me in terms, in terms of chess. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I was trying to figure out what that word was first. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw. I just saw you think that. Oh no! 
yeah, I think there's anything to do with yeah, it, uh, it was, current it, climate. It, it, it was just full on assault. It was like... Mm. Even, it was even one game it, that was very close. Yeah, I think that's a game that I tried the hardest in. And then mm. I just... I'm too defensive, I think. I need to be more aggressive. Mm. I did play very aggressively. But very, very good fun. I enjoyed it. I, I think we had eight to nine concurrent viewers um, throughout the majority of the stream. Um, so thank you so much for everyone that came and joined in. Mental. We appreciate yeah, you. It was good. I also want to point out that although Joel is the chess champion, mm -hmm. I am the Yu-Gi-Oh champion. Ah, oh, we did also have a game of Duel Links and uh, Sean uh, unfortunately beat me. It was it was yeah, funny that we both got we... Uh, one turn. We both had just one turn KO decks. So it's whoever drew better. <laughs> So he was like, oh, RNG. <laughs> but sure, that's, well, that's basically what Yu-Gi-Oh is now, to be fair. Yeah, true. Yeah, Duel Links especially, with only 4,000 4, life points. It's just a it's a one turn mm -hmm. KO kind of game. So it's the more efficient deck. <laughs> yeah, the most, yeah, the, the, yeah, the one that can, you can get out the strongest people as quick as possible will generally yeah. win. Yeah. Yeah. So it's quite depressing. It's quite like that now. Yeah. Really. That's I, right. Well, well I liked it when it was like it was a bit like aha, you can have like long, long even even if you had just one tactic, it was at least you had you know, you could be knocked back down, you can get back in the game and everything else and stuff like that. It was, it was usually I felt like there's a bit bit more tactical tactics mm. in life. Well, I think the normal game's a bit more balanced, like the eight thousand life points, the new decks being added, dual links oh. is just so low, like it, you can just kill people so easily. No, nah, it's it's I I, I think. Like the original has gone very much the same. It's very much just one turn kill. One turn KO on eight thousand life points. It's that one or one or two turns. It's literally it's just insane. That's mental. That's, yeah. I mean, yeah, if you could one turn KO eight thousand, that's nuts. Mm. But you got to remember that because of power creep and everything else, blue eyes white dragon is weak. That's three thousand attack points. Yeah, yeah. So I, I guess that's pretty nuts. So yeah, I've never I haven't played the new games or looked into. It. I don't know anyone who still plays, but I can totally see. Yeah, I guess you're saying power creep just makes everything a bit more powerful with the effects going stronger and stronger as well. It's insane. It's got to the point now. But the, the problem is that because, and in some ways you can see it's hap happening with Sword and Shield of how they had to cope with it. But because they kept entering a new mechanic for each, every now and then and everything else, it became apparent that each mechanic had, they had built a game around that mechanic and everything else we made the old mechanics weaker so I had to buff them up then they introduced a new one it's, it, it, eventually it's just like what the hell's going on the same thing with you, uh, same thing happened with Pokemon they introduced Mega Evolution it's a new mechanic it's like oh wow it's make, we got people involved and everything else then it was was it Z-Moves? Um, yeah I think it was Z-Moves yeah, and, and then there was like, Dynamax yeah so but even by, by the time we got to Sword and Shield they were like we can't because the game, because each time they introduce something new, it unbalances the fighting style. Yeah. It's like, uh, what do we do? Yeah. And um, the game we did, the only thing they could do is like, well, I have to get rid of it. Because it's, the, you can't, if you can't make it balanced, people would not want to play. It would be unfun for everyone. Yeah. Well, they removed every single, every single game introduce, introduces one and it's gone by the next game. Like Mega Revolutions hasn't returned from the first game and Z Moves never returned either. No, but they haven't returned, but they were still in the game. You can still use Mega Evolution in Sun and Moon. No, you couldn't. You can. I was saying used it. Oh, what? I'd... Oh, I, I, thought that was, I thought that was all removed every single time. No. Oh, the, only, the, okay. the only time they, they removed it was for the um, Sword and Shield because of the balancing style. They couldn't make all the three yeah. mechanics. Was balance. it Z-Moves never returned, though? Z-Moves never got into a further game. Or maybe that was... Was that the last game that was in Sun and Moon? Yeah... Yeah, so yeah, that's been yeah. It's just been forgotten, which is a shame because I think each mechanic was interesting. I think a lot, well, both Mega Evolution and Z moves are good, mm. interesting mechanics. I don't, I don't, don't, I don't seem like a big fan of Dynamax. To be perfectly honest, I like the Gigantamax when they change forms and then they're just like a different Pokemon and they look really cool, like Long Long Meowth or or Chubby Pikachu. It's really mm. cool. That could be yeah. yeah. I mean, but it's still, I don't know. Which Z move but, was your favourite? Because there is a correct answer to this. What Z move? Oh, the mm. um, is it something pancake for Snorlax? Pulverizing pancake, the best, the best move. It was so sick. 
<laughs> but Snorlax like woke up, opened his eyes fully, and they were just like bright lights, like the hyper beam animation. And he jumps into the air, runs towards her, jumps into the air, does a front somersault, and then belly flops on the opponent. It's so sick. It's, it's my it, favorite it's animation. Probably, it, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's just a troll at that point, isn't it? They, just, they know yeah. that Snorlax was going to be a troll. It's a ha yeah. And it's only, it's only Snorlax that can learn that as well. It's Giga Impact uh, used on the Z-Move. It's so, it's so specific to use it, and it's so funny. No, it is pretty good. Yeah, man. Oh. Yeah. But so, yeah, what's no, a, so what else? Is that the only thing you're doing for Father's Day, then? So you, you got the, sea, the seafood no, I'm, I'm, I'm cooking tomorrow. And you're cooking tomorrow as well? Oh, cute. Yeah, cooking bolognese. Very and, nice. a and, and a cheesecake that I've been Ooh. working on for some time. I think I've cracked it. I think you've cracked it. Well, people special like, cheesecake. It's just about, it, yeah, it's not an ordinary cheesecake. I've been... It's got cracked cocaine in it. <laughs> <laughs> secret ingredient. You're not going to give the secret ingredient away, Joel. Oh, <laughs> damn it. Damn it. No, it's, um, the, it's the one that really gets people going. To, when I, I went to... I fake. love this cake. <laughs> <laughs> just scoffing it. <laughs> Just boo your face and just sniff. Oh yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> That's I mean, the, the seafood stuff. platter it just smells like fish. <laughs> <laughs> oh damn. Yeah, I mean, I think mine do as well. I was just you obviously you pick up most of it. Well, I just picked up half of it with my hands. I feel like other people should use their knife and fork normally. No, I, I had I had lobster and stuff, so I was like, yeah, I need to kind mm. of like rip it out and everything else. Yeah. Roll mops. Oh, so Ooh. good. I love my seafood. I think it's the best type of meat. Like it's fish. I think fish is the healthiest. Best I think it's healthiest. You, I think yeah. you can actually live on fish. I think there's a pill that's, it's, you can live basically live on fish and vegetables. It's the most healthiest diet. Oh, really? I guess that's mm. what Japanese what? do a lot, right? Rice, fish, and vegetables. Yeah. And most I mean, of the Asian uh, countries. Yeah, I think um, in in Japan, it's mostly just fish and rice. And in the Mediterranean, it's fish and vegetables. And they're the two most healthiest diets. So. Yeah. I remember... Oh, I can't remember what it was. I think it's an island off of New Zealand where it's like, oh, these people have like the longest lifespans because they like literally all they eat is rice and fish and they just mm. you know they, and they, they exercise for it obviously because they go out and hunt you know it's, it's, it's not developed but they, they live for so long mm. did you see oh, what was it called um, I want to say Peter Kane and Peter Kane. what's the Paul Hollywood I don't know how I got no. Peter Kane and Paul Hollywood mixed up That's yeah the, Paul like, Hollywood and the they're very different well who was the other one Peter Kane did you say yeah I got Peter Kane and Paul Hollywood mixed up they're completely different is Peter Kay the guy that sung the Pop the Builder song? I don't know, did he? I don't know. That, that is, that's a fact that I do not know. That's interesting. Or he's the one that sang um, Amarillo? Or he's in the music? Yeah, yeah, yeah he's the one that sang Amarillo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he did Pop the Builder as well. Really? Yeah. yeah so. Well, there we go. That's a useless fact that everyone could put in their quiz. That's <laughs> thing that's happening. Throw that uh, in a pub quiz. I don't know if that's true. But yeah, <laughs> I'm um, pretty sure. He went, he went to Japan, and J there's an island of Japan that literally had the most healthiest foods in the world like everything everything they grew there naturally was just a super it's like was a type of superfood and science science has, science proved that these are these are types of superfood and then world war ii oh, happened okay. and the <laughs> americans came and we came and with them came mcdonald's and deep fried ah. chicken and now it's the most unhealthiest place on the planet <laughs> i actually kid you not it's one of the most unhealthiest places to live because wow. it, it's just deep fried it's like wow what a turnaround i mean it's hard to cook superfood when your your soils are radiated <laughs> so well, there, well, I can see that being an issue. Well, no, the thing is, is it, it wasn't a place that got hit by radiation, so it had no radiation mm. poisoning. And everything else, it's just the fact that, let's be honest, quite a lot of healthy food doesn't look appetising compared to some fast food stuff. Uh, I mean, true, true. It, it takes. I think it takes a little bit more effort to make an appetising dish. Mm. I mean, of any sort. I, I think I find it hard to make any dish look appetizing even if it's unhealthy as <laughs> like it's really still hard to make i i don't know how to plate food did I, did I tell you i cooked dinner for my family the other day no you didn't did it look disgusting though it did <laughs> it, it looks pretty rank i you... i never cook by the way audience not my thing um but i did decide that i was going to make something to do with chickpeas we had pork loins pork loin steaks and i was like you know what chickpeas pork loin steaks throwing some spinach pretty pog that sounds pretty good you know and um, so I threw that all together. I put chili flakes in, salt, pepper, obviously, all, and all that pork loin. Then fried the spinach in like the pork juices. Threw those chickpeas in there as well. It looked pretty horrible when I plated it, so I just threw it all on and put the pork loin on top. But it tasted pretty damn good. Uh, see, that's the thing. I'm, I wouldn't. Okay, I was gonna say I know how to plate food. I don't. 
that's quite a big statement. I am better at plating food, probably, than you. Me, oh, yeah. I actually worked in the kitchen for a while, so I actually know how to do it to, yeah. a, to a certain extent. And you definitely cook more than I do. Yeah. Yeah, by a long shot. I, I cook once a month. <laughs> so, out of interest... Oh, no. Mm. So does that mean when we go to the road trip and one of us has to cook, it's going to be me? I, I, I can cook. I just don't like to. If, if it was, obviously, if it was a thing that we had to share... So I would do, do it, do that. I would go to restaurants, right? Yeah, we go to. Oh well, yeah, we're stopping for Rome for a sandwich. Which yeah. I'm surprised yeah. how cool you are about that. I think that's the first time I told you that we're stopping for Rome for a sandwich, and you're like, okay, cool, stop for Rome for a sandwich. We stop and go to a whole city just for a goddamn sandwich. Yeah, well, I'm going to go to the Vatican at the same time. It's nowhere near the Vatican. See the Pantheon. It's right next to the Pantheon. I'm going to go to the Vatican because it's cool and it says my name on the ceiling, <laughs> and I love that. I, I after going there, I'm like, like oh, someone painted my name. I think I don't know how long ago that was. A while ago, but yeah, I don't think it was your name. name. I, don't, I don't think it was your name. I'm pretty sure it was. I'm pretty sure it was like, damn. In 1995, Joel. this guy is going to be born, and we're putting his name on the ceiling. That's that's yeah, how I that came about. I don't think you're the Joel he was referring to. <laughs> <laughs> maybe not, but maybe I'm named after that Joel. In fact, Are I you? am. Yeah. Are you? There you go. The so I will take know. it from my ancestor. Well, my name ancestor is up on that that ceiling. See, I'm named after Sean Connery. Who actually? Bond. Yeah, Sean. Yeah, my name is. Oh god, I can't. I can't. I can't say my last name, but my name is Sean. After Sean Connery, S E A N, and my middle name is James. After James Bond. Ah, very cool. And so you won't you say your your last name for legal purposes. Exactly. <laughs> I, I almost did this for me. I was like, and my last, yeah, my name is blah blah blah. Whoops. <laughs> That'd be really funny. He's actually on the run right now. That's why. Yeah. <laughs> but obviously, these are all jokes, the by the way. <laughs> like I've said a few of these things. Um, yeah, actually, with mate, the if they're still like... listening after my bad RE joke, then you know it's not. Yeah. A... <laughs> I'm glad not. you're staying. I'm glad you're staying. I appreciate you staying. So here's a trick that I got. Well, not a trick. Here's what I got for my dad for Father's Day. And I can say this loudly, it's fine. Because it came today. As I couldn't get it. I ordered this three weeks ago and I couldn't get it delivered tomorrow. Because it was already sold out on the delivery dates for tomorrow. So too okay. many people had ordered it. So I got this thing instead. Go. A Cornish hamper. So, from Cornwall, two fresh Cornish pasties sent across this morning. And, uh, and two cornish beers a lager and a and an ipa i think um all shipped in a little hamper delivered to the door this morning at like 8 30 a.m that's pretty sick i know what a cornish pasty yeah so do i <laughs> <laughs> you just made me can we still we need to stop talking about food because i'm getting hungry yeah that's absolutely fine uh, i was actually gonna say we've we looked over the the titles and how well our podcast has been doing um guys halfway through the week i was like this this episode is not performing too well i was like that's a bit of a shame last week's this is um i popped in today just to have a look over the stats it's absolutely banging views thank you very very much for like coming back youtube youtube frogs you guys are absolutely smashing it we are loving the youtube audience you guys are bringing in so many views so what isn't you want to say this something? and the other podcast that had banged views on YouTube was because sex was in the title. Yeah, with no surprise. <laughs> put sex in the title, it bangs more views. <laughs> you put, put women or dating in the title, kind of bangs views as well. So we know what you guys like, and hey, these stories are coming, okay? <laughs> oh, wait, it's wait, fine. Wait, 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 really? We're doing that? I don't know. Not not today. This is terrible. <laughs> this is today. But both when we've been drinking. But we can think about it. I'm sure we can find wait, funny sex it means, stories. No, hang on, hang on. This means or that stats. you're more like. It means that you're more likely to actually spill. So go on, Joel. Tell us a. Uh... No, right. <laughs> the last one was about sex stats. It wasn't even about like our sex lives. I think like it just it, it's a it's a trigger word, and we appreciate everyone clicking in. Hope you guys are enjoying it. So um, do smash the thumbs up. Obviously, follow all that good stuff. And if anyway. you want uh, Joel to reveal a. Sex story about himself. Please, sex um, story. please comment on our Facebook and let us know because um, yeah, you've been quite stingy with your embarrassing sex stories. But I <laughs> revealed far, far, far too much information. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if that's what people want. I'm happy to oblige. Um, but yeah, I was actually going to say 
about summer solstice i it, obviously me and you have both said we're getting up tomorrow morning to go watch it mm. and i think i thought it was really cool that well oh, i i didn't know what summer solstice was and i still don't really know i just kind of asked one person and they said is this and i was like okay that's cool <laughs> and i'm gonna relay that to all of you um apparently it was like the the um how was it the celts the celts like built stonehenge to be like oh look let's put these massive rocks here so on summer solstice and winter solstice the sun rises like perfectly through the center of it so everyone can like celebrate the sun and there are a bunch of sun worshippers and now it's then it became like a weird pagan festival um I and i just think it's really funny hang on, that to... everyone still loves it yeah i'm trying to think celts are they before or after the romans Celts are they got before, before the Romans, I believe. Celts, 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 Celts are back Celts. in the day. We're talking like <laughs> back in the day. Joel talking about history, like everyone. Man, three. 1066 was back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> Joel being a history teacher, everyone. <laughs> I'm going right. When were Celts around? 750 BC. There we go. Okay. So yes, before yeah. the Romans. Romans were zero BC, right? No. When were Romans around? When were Romans around? We're, we're quick on this. Romans were fifth century, nine, uh, five hundred and nine BC. There you go. Okay, because I know that Stonehenge is Neolithic, which means its origins are generally unknown. Ah, but all right, presumed Celts then. It's presumed. I guess it's presumed Celts. It's got something to do with the sun, and it has become a pagan thing. That's what. Yeah, I just thought that was really cool. So I was like, yo, I'm going to go get out in the morning. I'm going to go on Facebook on a live stream and watch the sunrise on my Facebook as well as outside. Boom. And, you know, go back to our Celtic brotherhood. I find it mental that they obviously I feel like people that progressed society when they got wiped out, we lost so much. Like, if you think of the Celts, like, they, they made this huge, ba basically a massive whack-off sundial for no reason in the middle of, like, Wiltshire. Well, they made it for a reason, which I don't know what the hell it is. They did it for something. It's kind of like, because they're sun worshippers. And I was like, that's kind of cool. And I, I like what they've done. But then think of, like, the Mayans, the Incas. Um, like, they got killed off just because of brutal, like, fights. And they built things that we couldn't have even imagined. Back You've never day. been to Mexico, have you? No, I haven't. Oh, mate, we went to... I've been to Mexico a couple of times. So I've seen um, some of the Mayan... I've been to some of the Mayan temples. I've been to three Mayan temples. Mm. If you want to be... Get technical. I can't remember the names, so I can't be bothered. I'll... <laughs> I'll ask my family and I'll find out because they're all there at the same time. But, Take um, over the Instagram. Put, put the names boom. in the little Insta post, mate. I, my family will hate that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still about it. Um, but yeah, they were they were there at the same time, and we was outside a a, uh, a Mayan a Mayan temple, and they told us to everyone clap and yell at the same time. Okay. Outside this temple, so we all clapped and yelled at the same time. Yeah. And our voices, our voices of sound, um, went into this temple and it came out. The vibration, everything else came out, sounding like a bird. Wow! What? And there was another one, you did it again, it sounded like a man dying. Because obviously they did self-sacrifice and everything else, there was more than one temple. So they figured it wow, out. Wow, that was so a thing? Yeah, that's a, that's a, I didn't know that was a thing. I didn't know you could do Mental. that. Mental. But they worked out the maths to work, change, uh, change people's noises into, to go into this, into this building and come out sounding like a bird. And this was that before... That is fantastic. It was, it was insane. And there's like certain buildings that line up perfectly with the stars with the moon and everything else perfectly yeah. on certain times and everything else they were because th they could do maths that's the thing mate the they Mayans were and brilliant. Incas could do maths and science and that was amazing but then they got wiped out because they were the weaker nation because they were just more intelligent less brawn brawl 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 it was in, it was at different times the Mayans it depends what who you're looking for the Mayans and I believe the Mayans and Incas were both wiped out this, around about the same time I, I think it was because of a pan, uh, <laughs> because of an epidemic or pandemic I believe one of them got wiped out by oh really because mm. it uh, went right were... up to North Africa which happened to the Native Americans because the Native Americans despite popular belief um, also had cities oh despite but the I fact we find... think they lived in tents and everything else they actually had a city and actually had civilization very similar to how 
the Mayans and how we were perceived civilization. They had a very similar setup, but I, I, really? a huge epidemic wiped it, wiped wiped through the whole whole North America, and that's when we uh, Westerners entered the scene and were like, "Oh, they're just people living tents." But no, it's, they got kind of got shoved to lift this way, basically through like isolation and, and stuff like that. We don't really know a lot what happened there because. I don't know a lot what happened there, but there was definitely a, if you type in Native American cities, it should yeah. come up. Oh yes, yeah, so it says a disease might have worked them out, wiped them out for there. Mm. Um, don't know if that's is it, yeah, we can't say for sure. But because... yeah, like armies and stuff did go go through. Some, oh yeah, they didn't refuse to uh, use the old stuff, uh, like all their temples and stuff like that, which is mental. I, I think the same with the Romans happened, right? So Romans. I, I find this so Roman find Empire this strange thing. All right, go ahead. So, all right, so Romans two thousand years ago, mm. but or nigh on. We just found out two thousand five hundred, roughly. Let's say two thousand. That just you know, as Christ happened, we know Romans were around that time. Um, they had underfloor heating. They had roads. They had cities, full stone cities. They built a Colosseum. I mean, that's clearly what Rome is. <laughs> they. Uh, had running water to f on toilets, all right? These things, we didn't then get back once they got wiped out until the Tudor times, 18th century. It took 1,800 years for us to get these back after the Anglo-Saxons just decided to go live in mud huts again after the, <laughs> after the uh, Romans disappeared from England. Well, Isn't that insane? It, it is genuinely insane. The thing is they started putting in pots and, and in holes again. Yeah, it's so. I think I, I don't really understand that for the Roman Empire is just strange. If anyone looks into it, it's just a weird thing because basically, it just stopped being the thing. It's, it's so weird. Some people just went, "Okay, oh, so who's in charge?" No one. Cool. And it does seem that big, the big reason why it's called the Dark Ages isn't just because of the Black Death and everything else. That it's part of the reason why it took so long to get all that information back. But it, it is very much. So a number of things happened, but it literally does seem to be like, hey, do you know what? One day, the Roman Empire is here, and let's say I'm a stonemason, so I know how to make stone, and oh, I am a stonemason, but you know, let's say I'm a stonemason back in that time. Mm. I know how to make walls, and how to build a cathedral, and then, or, or build certain things and everything else. Great. Next day, the Roman Empire is gone. It's, it's, it's fell. Oh, cool. Can you finish building my house? Oh, I can't do it. I forgot. It literally is like, it's... it's the amount yeah. of art, like if you look what the Romans are doing with art and the, the mosaics and everything else. Yeah, and yeah, then, yeah. And, and then you look at what happened during the Dark Ages and the Middle Ages. You'd be like, what, what happened? What, why have we reversed back to nothingness? I um, guess one, I once that went, they that. lost, yeah, they lost the, the construction ability. What? And art just falls. When nothing else, art is obviously one of those things like food, water, protection are your, are your main things. Mm. Art well, is, comes way later once you've got like a civilization the, actually the, there. The big reason why this happened was when the Roman Empire was very good at keeping things connected. For a, an empire of its size at the time, was very good at keeping things connected to everything else. And then as it as it fell apart, certain things were taken over. There will be there was the Germanic tribes, which Anglo Sax Anglo Saxons. For in case people want to know, I'm as English as Anglo Saxon. Uh, they're actually a Germanic tribe com who come from Saxon, which is still a place in Germany. Okay. So, Very cool. technically, if you're Anglo Saxon, you're German. Deal with it. Um, <laughs> and technically, we're all French only from 1066. True. Boom. Technically, we're yeah, a bit of well, a, your history. I'm sure, we're a mixed of Europe, right? <laughs> I'll, 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 everyone's a mix no of one's Europe. No one's like pure, like a... purebred because everyone oh, no, invaded everyone back Europe. in the day. Everyone's a mix of Europe. This is why, you know. I, it's no, it's no, nothing wrong with being proud of where you're from, but saying that I'm your pre bred pro bred French or pro bred wherever you are, it's like yeah, yeah. you're not that. You just yeet that out of here. <laughs> yeet that out of here. <laughs> I guess it depends how far back you go, right? Like, um, what, it, like if you just say, oh, I, I'm, you know, I have four generations from England or France or Germany. Yeah, probably, but like. It depends if you go like twenty generations back, you probably all over the place. I've gone fifteen generations. I'm still English and I'm brown, so <laughs> deal with that, people. Fifteen, fifteen generations from England. Yeah. yeah. And cool. to... that's just, you look like a very nice tan. So I've got good. yeah, I've got very olive skin. So yeah, what that went out, people. What that went out. Well, I mean, 
It doesn't really matter, to be fair. I mean, yeah, the definition of English different. is... The definition of what English represents needs to change. Mm. People think, Does it? You know, well, if you associate being English as white, then yes. Because it isn't. Oh, English yeah. Is I what, Eng- don't think English is that. your... Well, they're clean, because look, how many people have, have I've had, we've had this, oh, no, let's, let's not get into this conversation again. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, this is the damn road. Yeah, 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 so, sorry, yeah. Actually, I mean, actually, I bet some people do but, do associate that, and that's people that I don't associate with, and that's why I just don't even Well, that's why me and you are friends, because... Yeah, yeah. One of the, yeah. But, yeah, back to the, back to the Roman thing, because it's a, a big reason of why that happened, and I, as well, is because of um, Christianity. Oh, Yeah. Well, yeah, because everything was seen as pagan, and if it was pagan, it had to go. So it had to be, mm. so it had to be destroyed. And because as soon, soon as you start destroying stuff, the knowledge starts disappearing. Yeah. And if you did know it, you were seen as a pagan worshiper, so you had to be not do it. So it, it took. And then the Black Death happened, which killed sixty percent of the world's population. <laughs> yeah. Which kind That's... of, which 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 would kind of put a, a a slow progress on things. That's bit, a bit of a dampener. Bit of a dampener. Yeah. That's I mean, hey, it's it, that was a bit more serious than Corona. A bit more, yeah. I mean, it hit Cairo within a week. When it hit Cairo, within a week, half of the population in Cairo was gone. Wow! In a week. I mean, imagine that happened here in London. Like, we think the we think Corona is bad. And but you know happens? what? I think it was they were so unaware. I don't. I, I don't believe that. I think Corona could still be really dangerous. I bet it would kill it with a lot of people. I am... But because of our scientific like knowledge and what we've done, like lockdown. I reckon, I reckon you've saved, I don't know, well, hundreds what, of thousands of people. Yeah, but the thing is as well, is that it's not, I mean, we are dealing with a time they, they didn't have the medical knowledge that we have. Mm. But these people weren't completely foolish. Yeah, still they did do. They did kind of work out the fact that, you know, if you were not, if you was away from the people who were sick, then you're not going to get sick. So they worked out that, right, we have to isolate. So they did, they did, they did isolate, they did do those things. It was just, it's, part of it is, a lot of knowledge is lost for that period because so many people died before finishing writing what they were writing about. Mm. And it's not depicted in some of the best ways and everything else. So it, it's left to some speculation. But, oh man, it's just, think about, I mean, at the same time, there's, at certain areas would not hardly, t- hardly ever touch, like Milan was barely even stra- scratched, and that was, a, even then it was a big city. But the Black Parade was, it was spread by fleas, right? Is that, that's sort of how the Black That's pra- a myth now, because the rat population wasn't affected at all. Oh. The rat population didn't go up, didn't go down, and if it was something to do with rats, plus it doesn't work, it moved uh, at a pace about a mile a day. Oh, Okay. And it doesn't make sense that it will be rats and fleas and everything else. They th- the reason that it came about was because there's been three pandemics evolving around the uh, Black Death, um, the Black Plague. Yeah. And the third one was in 18... Ooh. In the late 1800s. I think there was... Uh, it might have been in the early 19, uh, 1900s. Yeah. Um, there's actually photos there's actually black and white photos of it happening in China again of, what of like the bubonic plague coming back yeah it, it's, it's, it's been three pandemics the third one the second one sorry is the known as the black death that's where 60% of the world's population were wiped out yeah I've just had a look so 1347 to 1351 up to an estimate of 200 million people dead yeah it's insane <laughs> what <laughs> that's especially back in the day hmm but it, that's it wasn't, insane yeah uh, if you lived in florence it was basically like they thought it was the end of the world so they was like sod it let's just have huge um sex orgies <laughs> they just thought hey. it was the end of the world i went hey let's just go out of a bang you know horses of a horse of apocalypse honest, are here and everything if we else. didn't have more science i mean that doesn't sound that bad I, can we still convince people that corona is the end of the world <laughs> oh yeah we, just call sky news and and, and, the, and the bbc and just convince them and then we're, we're good right <laughs> yeah be like all right just let, let's get on with it <laughs> well beijing's had a second hit haven't they and um oh have they i haven't looked i honestly yeah, have beijing news this week it's nice yeah, beijing have had a second away. hit and um so of germany yeah so yeah man how's um so wait germany is really been kicking off again for it i thought they were doing pretty uh, well. it's just it's, it's just had a little it's just had a little hype like the little peak of everything i think that's the way it's going to be until a definite cure comes in 
Yeah. Yeah. No, I, th- I think that's, that's absolutely fine. Well, I mean, it's not fine, but it's... It, it's the we're going to have to wait. We're just going to have to wait, yeah. Like, there's nothing we can do about that. Like, lockdown's slowly we, easing, especially the, in this country as well. So. Yeah, we have got the huge... We have got the, the drug that seems to be working incredibly well. Oh, I've well. heard about that. So... Yeah. Hopefully a new drug, but obviously it needs to be human tested. It has um, been human tested. Oh, has it? Yeah, it's, it's start, they're starting... I think it's been starting to go into production soon, so... No way... No way, what, in June? Yeah, but you have to remember the whole world has been... It's, it's not just us that's been working on it. It's the whole, like, America, really? Canada. Basically, every single person in the world that's been massively hit quite badly by it has been... been who can who drug. can help and contribute in some way have done it, so... That's pretty mental. I'm amazed, because actually, what, like... When did this, like, properly hit us? February, right? Yeah, like, or anyone, not us, because we didn't. Get end of February, but around about around about mid end of February, I'd say it starts getting. We got to the point where we were like, Haha, we can't really make much jokes about this. I mean, we <laughs> I, did. I like our we, me and Joel podcast, did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> our old podcasts were like, yo, can you imagine people making a cult on that cruise and all the like the couples are going to kill each other? And, and, that's and, why and we're, like, and we're all cult. in lockdown. <laughs> I made, well, that's why I did. I made a cult. Yeah, I worship the crowd. I heard it's going well. I wish in the corona and uh, we go take over the world true it's, oh, it's how it's how go on it's a, did you just finish your summarise yeah you I just summarize? finished my summarise and the, the uh, grenadine at the bottom was just horrible there's so much syrup it's oh it's so strong I really need to I pour a, a more efficient like measurement next time I just kind of freehand I think it that's, um, I think one thing is strange because how many tequila shots do you put in there uh all right, wait. I put four in there, which I shouldn't have done. <laughs> How much? I put four. Cause, all right, so I was trying to measure it out, and I looked at her recipe, and they said, all right, one part grenadine, one part, uh, two parts um, tequila, three parts orange juice. So I put a double shot of grenadine in, I put mm-hmm. four shots of tequila in, and I put six shots of orange juice in. And uh, mm-hmm. I think it was too Too's much. Wrong. See, I can't do tequila. Yeah, I can't even. Strong. I can't even smell. I mean, uh, our friend likes Toffee liqueur uh, tequila. Te- 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 alcohol people, you're right. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. Uh, toffee, Toffee liqueur tequila, mm. and that's literally the only one I've had in. I actually might have actually just say ten years. Yeah, my oh my god. Or something like that. Something ridiculous. It's. it's I can't do tequila. I have. Here you go. I'll tell this story. I don't mind telling an embarrassing drunk story. Okay. I was in Mexico. So mm-hmm. you get a lot of Mexican stories here. Yeah, Mexico living it up. Boom. You go to Mexico a lot. I did go to Mexico a lot for one period. You did. Loving the Mexico. Boom. Um, I went to Mexico <laughs> and um, it was a prize. My cousins came to surprise my uncle because it was his birthday and everything else. So they came to increase the numbers and everything else. And on that night, we all went. You know, me and my cousins all were like, "Hey, do you want know to be a great idea? Let's go to the, let's go to the uh, the nightclub that's in the uh, in the hotel." Mm-hmm. So I went in there, and at the same time, I made friends with the Canadian ice hockey team. Mm-hmm. I also made friends with the Canadian ice hockey team's cheerleaders. Nice. As you would do. I mean, you know. As you make, should. Make, as, yeah, exactly. Problem is that they were in three different groups. I had my family in one group, the the Canadian ice hockey players in one group, and the Canadian nice. cheerleaders in another group. Okay. And I would just swap groups. Every I time. Don't know why you'd swap. Well, I'm trying to be social. I'm trying to be, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anything else. My cousins are there. They, it's the first night they come here. I've got to talk to them and everything else. And True. You know. Go put that effort in. Yeah. Exactly, and both the both the Canadian you know Canadian cheerleaders and the ice hockey players were both there together, even though they were in separate groups for weird reason. They were both there together, so I was like, "Well, I've got to hang out with one, not the other." Otherwise, yeah, it yeah, seems yeah. like I'm trying too hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, so I kept swapping, but the problem is that every time I swapped to the group, it would I literally be answered like this: "Hey, Sean, let's get let's do a shot." Every single goddamn time. <laughs> oh no. I did one. I only had one pint of beer. Okay. I lost count around shot twelve. How many shots of tequila I did? Oof. And uh, I just woke up. 
on a beach. In a <laughs> on a beach. <laughs> on a beach, on a horseshoe with my own vomit, with a seagull mm. on my chest, squawking at my face. <laughs> with a Mexican security man. Yeah. Standing above me, because they, um, they have people who patrol the beaches and everything else to make sure people just don't come on for no reason. Yeah. And he was there, and he just looked over and went, Good night. Uh, I couldn't actually speak. I was so... Oh my so god! Rough. I bet it was I, so hot. Oh god, it was so waking up with a seagull squawking in your face was bad enough. How, did the security guard not like shoo away the the seagull? He was like, no, nah, he didn't. He, 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 he just, the seagull did not care if he was there or not. He, he must be standing there watching over me the whole time anyway, making sure nothing eats me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the seagull That's just funny. landed on me, just squawked in my face. <laughs> That's funny. Oh yeah, I literally just got up. He gave me his, he, in all fairness, he got me some water. Yeah. Oh, and, that's nice thing. Yeah, and I got some water and I went, I went back to my hotel, uh, to my room and everything else. Who, mm. My roommate um, at the time was very nice to leave, he left the jaw ajar. In a tropical country oh. where there's been snake, well, where, and this, where there's, well, I've se- we've seen snakes and spiders everywhere. So he's left the mm. jaw ajar just in case, because um, he went, because uh, I went missing. So he's not sure if I'd lost my key or everything else. So he left it ajar just in case I could, I come back. Oh, that's um, nice. Oh, but the whole night, I literally sat on a, I literally did the whole day, and the next day, I was on the um, beach beds, and people were like, going like, hey, it's Sean, how are you doing? It's a great night last night. I'm like, yeah, yeah, you got to go to nightclub tonight. Nah. <laughs> I'm I good. I am nursing a hangover right yeah, now. So many people, yeah, so many people came over to me like, ah, oh, man, look, last night you were great. Yeah, last night, tell me about it, because I don't really remember. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, that does remind me of days at uni. Yeah. That's usually like, yeah, go on, Nate. Come on, you better tell a story. Go on. No, it's all right. I, I, I just remember my freshers at university, like my first year. I, I, I just had, obviously, had a few heavy nights. Oh, you know, I was going out with my flatmates. I got home each night. It was absolutely fine. You know, it was, it was good fun. I just remember, like, I'd go out and I'd socialise. I'm a very social person, you know me. I'd, I'd go out talk to absolutely everyone, especially in the smoking area. I don't smoke, but my friends at the time did. So I'd go out and I would just start talking to people. That was like my instinct. Like, oh, I can't find my friends immediately. I'll just talk to this table. And, I, and I'd go around, talk to everyone, then be like, oh, I'll see you later. I've seen my friends. Bye. And the, for the next like week or two weeks afterwards, I'd be approached by people around uni all the time. I'd be in the library and they'd be like, Joel, how are you doing? And I would not have a clue who they are. Not have a clue. And I was like, hey, uh, yeah. I'd, uh, I'm good. How are you doing? I was like, I must have spoken to them, you know, like 10 minutes, like drunkenly at a table. <laughs> and it happened for so many times. I just found it so funny. Like, I became a running joke with my friends. They were like, who are these people? <laughs> who do you know? <laughs> Why are you friends with these weed people? I don't, I don't know. Yeah. Don't, it, like, it, just just love talking. My answer would be like this. That, that, this is why you need to stop smoking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not for your health, all right. It's for mine, all right. I don't know who I'm talking to. <laughs> so true. Yeah, uh, and it was. I just found that really funny. That was well, first year that was a, a, happened especially. I just and I remember all that. I I used to go outside. I knew the all the um, what do you call it? The SU guards. I I can't remember what they're called. Like the the prefects, I guess. Or house the bouncers. No, they. The the people the people that were third years they they, they kind oh, right, of they stayed in the houses in mm. in the like the uni flats but on the first week of for first years they would sit outside the issue and basically anyone that came out that was a bit drunk they were like oh toast water coffee you know like let's get you home where you going all that kind of stuff and I just got to know them all really really well and I just I knew for the whole first year I just knew all the prefects and I thought that was really cool yeah you probably needed them the most. Huh? You probably needed them the most, that's why. Yeah, well, they, they were just like, oh, hey, how you doing, Joel? How you doing? Like, they were really good. Obviously, they're meant to be good with names, but I just remember yeah. them always being like, toast again tonight. I was like, I'd love a piece of toast right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, give me the toast. I'd be like, bit of toast, glass of water, and I'm heading back home. They're like, you need a taxi? I was like, nah, I can walk it. Yeah, it's yeah, it good fun. Yeah, I think, yeah, your SU was pretty good, to be fair. I loved my SU. It was very small. I went to a very, very small uni. There was only one club in the entire... Uh, town and it was it was the SU it was it was mm. great fun. I think that's part of the reason why it was so good. Mm. All the SUs I've been to, yours, definitely seemed to be the most lively. It was it was always packed. 
any night you went went there, it was packed. Yeah. Because yeah. I've been to, I went to Lincoln, Stoke. Yeah, you're almost definitely the most. Yes, mm. there's, there's always, it felt like something was always happening at USU. But that's because, yeah, everyone, every uni student was there. Like, when we, when you said Stoke, there's so many clubs in Stoke. Like, you could go, like, the SU was pretty dead, but they were always out everywhere else, weren't they? I've got nothing so. wrong with Stoke, but I don't really like Stoke. Oh, yeah, you weren't a fan? I yeah. remember, it, yeah, it was all right. We went together. Did you go at a different time, or was it just when me and you went? It was just me, me and you went. Yeah. I didn't like, was, I, was, I wasn't was really a fun. big I wasn't a big fan no it was, I, it, was yeah. it wasn't bad I'm not saying it wasn't, it, it, wasn't, it wasn't bad it's just not me yeah I just remember we went to that club and it was literally our group and like three other people well the one where they had the hobo in the corner just sleeping yeah 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 it's <laughs> weird in the corner it's just there sleep. Oh, that was weird so, should we say this so yeah so we went to Stoke yeah. to meet a friend for uni um, and he's a big indie fan indie music like Arctic Monkeys, I don't know. Like, uh, well, it's, it's indie or nothing with him, let's be honest. Yeah, the Cortinas, all that sort of stuff. Um, and he was like, yo, I've got a indie club we should go to. And I was like, yeah, all right, I'm kind of down. We're here to see you. That yeah. sounds fun. And he had a couple of friends. How many were there? There was probably a, what, a group four, maybe five of them? Yeah. And yeah, three yeah, of us? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so there's there's about that. eight of us in total. Yeah, roughly. about that, yeah. About that, roughly. I'm not really um, using it, yeah. So we we came, we came in to this. It honestly, we walked up to. It looked like a hotel that we were going into, and we he said, "Oh, we're here to go to the club," and the bouncer was like, "Oh yeah, okay." I checked IDs. He said, "Down the stairs to your right." I was like, "All right, cool. This is kind of fancy. What's going on?" We walked down these stairs, and we are in a literal basement with a, the grimiest bar, a hobo in the corner, three people. And a DJ. And then with eight of us come laptop. walking in. Huh? With like the, the DJ had like the oldest laptop I've ever seen in the world. Like stickers plastered all over it. Like, t- <laughs> yes. like, like he clearly does his in his spare time. And the bartender looked so happy that there was someone else there. Like she looked like actually excited that she might serve a drink. Because it looked so depressing in there. Because literally there was four people before. Mm. And we, du- we tripled the entire room. It yeah, was it was... The hobo stank as well, man. Yeah, it was it was a funny night though. And yeah. our mates just walked up to the DJ and just well just said, "Can you play this?" And he went, "Yes," because he literally had nothing else that he was doing. No, he he, he didn't have a set plan. He did not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was really funny to be honest. God, I it, was, yeah, that, that. It, was, it was it was that was funny, but also cringe at the same time. We just there. It was literally just us for the dance on dancing. Yeah. There's this guy in the corner, like, hobo in the corner, like, when we say hobo, we're actually not joking, there was actually a hobo in the corner, we're not, this is not a joke, but there was actually a hobo, I was saying the corner, but he was against the wall, like, yeah. in the sleeping bag, kind of called up, just it kind of covered his face. Bag, was it? He was just in a big coat. No, no, that was a sleeping bag, he actually was in a sleeping <laughs> bag. Yeah. I, I think I just ignored him, I was like, I am not going anywhere near that guy. Oh, and every time someone walked past and made that, he usually walked past and like, did anything near him or all, all, all you heard was probably <laughs> yeah. it was and, and then they had like a weird outside part that you could go oh, like down like it looked like a fire escape to, to a smoking area yeah like it literally it was, was like good it which is funny weird. we were like in a funny. basement and then there was like a weird set of stairs down like into like honestly it was like a Pits weird underground alley yeah, yeah it was basically the the smoking area was literally just the pits of hell. There was Lucifer there, yeah. chilling in the background, like, hey, you doing? Yeah. Adolf you just the... chilling, being tortured. It was... Oh, mate. It was it was a mess. It was really <laughs> funny, though. Yeah. I like... Uh, yeah, I liked he was going like, it's not that we like this. We were like, yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> and then... Yeah, I mean... That was a weird... Like, all of Stoke... I, as I said, we went to, like, multiple clubs. Most of them were better than Actually, that's pretty funny, to be fair. That I mean, that was funny. That, that was, was funny. funny. The first club we went to was was really good, just sort of indie music and like a bit of rock music, which is definitely my scene anyway. Kind of chill. Um, yeah, yeah, it, it was all right, but yeah, I think my SU had the best clubs for sure. Well, you only had one. Well, club. my SU was the the best club, sorry, out of any of them. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Uh, I went to Lincoln a couple of times as well. That was pretty oh good yeah, vibe. you did. And that was a good vibe. I had a good, I had a good, then a good beat, beat there, rhythm there. I enjoyed that. Stoke, I think I just. I don't know. There's something about just like they just rub it up the wrong way. Yeah. Nah, it actually, sorry. I've all stopped. With, nah, sorry. I'm trying to be nice. And everything else. Nah, sorry. Stoke was scum. Fuck it. 
<laughs> wow. All right. Wow. You really didn't enjoy a steak. <laughs> nah. I was just, nah. Nah. Not your cup of tea. I was gonna say I thought it was fun. Uh, I, I I hold nothing against steak. Well, you can go back there anytime soon. Huh? And <laughs> we'll not be joining you. You can go there anytime soon. <laughs> I remember going to the Weatherspoons on the day that we were leaving. We had like a Weatherspoons breakfast. Um, and it was just like, I ordered like the oh, triple funny. chicken feast to try and get over my hangover. And we just had like a pint and we were like, oh, just get on the train and go home. Like, oh, we're knackered. We were there for a long weekend. Oh. And it was just, oh, we were destroyed by the end of it. Did we have like three hours sleep in total? Something stupid. It was something like really, really, really small amount of sleep. Yeah, I mean, you. Uh, one night I called it early. I was like, "Yo, I actually need to crash out," and I, I didn't head out uh, to like the, the full clubs with you guys. Uh, you actually didn't come. You weren't that much later. I think you came back like three or four hours later. But yeah, I, I think I slept a bit better. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, but yes, it was it was a small amount of sleep. So it, well, it was nice. We hadn't seen the guy in ages. Um, we went out clubbing with him, obviously, and oh, you want great. to make the most of it when you're up uh, yeah, there, yeah, don't yeah. you? I mean, me yeah. saying I didn't enjoy Stoke. I what I did enjoy, I enjoyed it because I was with my mate. Yes. Uh, well, we went to, not you, we Joel. Went to the other one. Not you. Yeah, yeah, of course. Not you, the other me. I, mean, I don't have yeah, fun with you. Been... I don't even know why I'm we... doing, doing the podcast with you at this point. I mean... <laughs> That's fine, mate. Don't come on next week. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so if you want to be the co-host of a, a podcast that I have 50% yeah. of the shay, say in, um, please get in contact. <laughs> please get in contact on, on our Facebook. Hit us up in the message and we, we have a guest co-host. Yeah. Queen Beach, come in. <laughs> that's the one that we streamed that was in our stream chat anyway yeah if you do want to join stream at Jordan Third, like twi- on Twitch whatever it is you know, twitch.tv slash Jordan Third. that's it not at yeah uh, we'll be doing it Thursday aren't we uh, possibly we'll, just, we'll sort that one out um, but yeah so uh, I mean that was really fun actually we played Laser Quest there as well Laser Mayhem that, that was fun that was really good especially when like a different it was us that. versus our own group right and yeah. then a different group came in and we dominated them I and mean, we raped them it was just oh, sorry, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't even bother doing the joke then but yeah it was just it was daylight robbery it was just it, was, it wasn't a competition it was like haha <laughs> yeah me uh, just to let people know me and uh, the other guy that we went to go meet actually worked at a uh, laser quest place before and used to play quite often so uh, yeah we absolutely destroyed these other people that decided to <laughs> come in <laughs> and even attempt to challenge us it was yeah. like a four v five, and we ruined him. It was yeah, it was not it's not a good shout. Yeah, good fun though. Oh. That's it. Anyway, yeah, I think that's um, I oh, I haven't planned a, a a would you rather for this one, boy. I got one. Go on. Oh, I'd I'd love to. I'd love to hear right. it. Right. How many animal? How many of one animal do you think you can take a hundred of? Excuse me. How, how many, many of one, one animal? Yeah, no, no, no. Let's think... say cat. You can take a hundred cats, or do you think? Well, how many? Sorry, so you, I, is this how a play off you, the one I said before? What's the biggest animal yeah, you can take on? Yeah, basically. Saying, yeah, I'm I'm, play, I'm playing off that. I'm, I'm having very okay. little imagination. I'm just playing off that. But yeah, how it's many fine. of one animal can you take a hundred of? So be you pick one animal in the hundred of them snails. attack you, and you have yeah, well the biggest. I get a hundred snails, easy. Well, you think, yeah, that's the biggest one you can take. Oh, that, oh, so wait, so what is the the largest amount? What is the largest animal I can take a hundred of? to fight to the death yeah you have to yeah it, it, it's to the death again god we're okay. so cheerful yeah. peter don't ma- don't 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 listen Ten to us <laughs> <laughs> well we only talk about pokemon so we're not friends we're not friends it's gonna be like so at podcast get out <laughs> <laughs> um let's have a think how many of a hundred one animals i mean snails are the the obvious one right well, yeah but i was thinking like think birds take anything no, I wouldn't take... Birds can fly. But birds can fly, yeah. That's the difficult one. They can peck you. I reckon... What's the biggest? The biggest the you can biggest? think? I reckon... Well, like, what about like a slow worm? 100 slow worms. They're not going to do anything. They're pretty big. Are they? Yeah, just like slow... kick them. I can't them picture a slow worm. Man. It's like a snake. It's like a snake size. Oh, like, right. A medium-sized snake. They're they quite they big. Can bite you. They can bite you. You yeah, but what are they going to do? They've got no venom. Just kill them. Yeah, they can probably take a hundred of them. Yeah, I reckon so. Look, get a hundred. Um, I can't think of something that I would uh, think of of larger. 
I, w- I want to say like bears, but obviously not. <laughs> I just like a hundred black you're being bears. Very, you're being very calm and tame. I'm disappointed. Normally you're something. Normally I would I would like expect something, something to be something like yeah. hundred Rottweilers. Yeah, something uh, stupid like that. Like I could take on a hundred squ- squirrels what? or something. I don't know. Oh, a hundred squirrels? Yeah, I could take on a hundred squirrels. You won't know. You won't be able to take on a hundred squirrels. Hundred squirrels? Easy. What are they going to do to me? Yeah, I, I can beat up a hundred squirrels. No You've done a hundred mice. Yes, a uh, uh, hundred squirrels. I'll, I'll take that. Well, do you not think you can take on a hundred squirrels? Yeah, I can. I'm not saying you can't. That's <laughs> 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 good. A hundred. Hundred squirrels? That's nothing. Hundred is a rat. Hundred capybaras. That's what I can take on. What's a capybara? Oh, is, is that the capybara? Biggest... The largest rodent in the world. Like, what are they going to do to me? I just could knock it out. I don't know. I think they're pretty big. Yeah, actually, they could. If they all just ran at me, maybe they just knock me over and trample. There's a hundred of them, and they're pretty got big, yeah. big ass teeth as well. They are quite big. Mm. I kind of like the idea of the capybara though. I think that's a big one that I reckon I could. Okay, the possibly biggest. Do. So I'm, I'm surprised you didn't say domestic cat. Oh, domestic cat, yeah. You can take on a hundred domestic cats. Yeah. Yeah, well, I, what, like a tabby cat? A little tabby cat? Yeah. Yeah, I can take on a hundred tabby cats. You think you take... I sent you is that video honestly? the other day where the guy, the, the, the cat, like, latches onto the person while streaming, right? Yeah. That was really funny. There's a, there's a, I get this guy's, like, trying to just pet his cat, like, oh, look, this should be the new president of the United States because he's more intelligent than Donald Trump. And the cat just launches at him, like, grabs the side of his leg. And the guy starts running out the room. The cat was so unhappy. I think he, obviously, he's streaming. So he's got the, the webcam up. So the cat sees itself in the webcam, thinks it's another cat, freaks out. It is not happy. Obviously, I don't condone that, but damn, was it a funny video. Oh, it was a funny video. Yeah, when, when I first got um, uh, my current dog, which is Inca, which is a little up a hundred Incas. I wouldn't want to. Thing is, I, could... thing, the thing is, a hundred Incas wouldn't. Oh, it, it would be death by just snuggles. I can deal with death by snuggles. <laughs> you, that's how you accept it. Or do you just go a hundred animals that you can take on? You be like a hundred elephants, and you be like, it'd be quick at least. <laughs> <laughs> it'd, be, it'd be quick, painless. I'm not sure it'd be painless, like slowly crushed. I don't know. Surely after like the third element runs over you, you'll be all right, surely. At that point, you're dead. Mm. What do you reckon? Do you reckon like tigers would be more efficient? I reckon tiger would be more efficient than a, 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 an elephant I don't to killing what... you. You'd like punch a juggler or something, Dan. Wait, have we, so we got the most painless death now? <laughs> have we yeah, wait, actually, right, sorry. What is the largest animal that you, you, you could go 100 off? Let's, let's put take, it back to you. Uh, the largest animal I think I could probably take. Um, I think the largest animal I could probably take on is a wood pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> a wood pigeon? Yep, I'll t- I think I could take on a hundred wood pigeons, and uh, then afterwards I could eat them all. I mean, sure, but I like squirrels, basically larger than a wood pigeon. No, no, no. You're thinking of a of a London pigeon. A wood pigeon's actually bigger than a London pigeon. A wood pigeon's yeah, okay. big. Bigger. Well, what about a London squirrel? They're big. <laughs> well, the grey squirrel. Yeah, the American grey squirrel. The little, the little immigrants that need to be outed. <laughs> Ooh, that's not PC. <laughs> Build a wall. <laughs> Build a wall yeah. for the squirrels. <laughs> Squirrel wall. Oh my god. I'm yeah, Donald Trump I... when it comes to squirrels. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I'm, I don't care. I really don't care. Get it's... me some nuts. Um, <laughs> yeah. I don't care. The... I don't care about yeah, I think I can take on 100 cats. You think you take a... Yours 100 cats is bigger than a slow worm. Do you think a cat's bigger than a slow worm? Yeah. I don't know, slow ones are quite long. Yeah, they're long, but they're big overall. Okay, a hundred cats then. I don't think I could take on a hundred dogs. It depends, if it was like a dog sized cat. I don't think you could take on a hundred cats. I think you're underestimating, I think you're underestimating how ferocious a cat is. I just don't think they could do much to me. I could, I could kill them off, I think easy. No, I, I what about I think a hundred dog sized cats like a what's a dog sized cat like a Pomeranian like, like I'm not well, saying I can take on a hundred Rottweilers dog. but if I could take on a hundred like small dogs I reckon that'd be easier than a hundred cats you want Jack Russell yeah like a Jack Russell I reckon I could kill a hundred Jack Russells 
I have no you doubt. Think? I think that'd be easier than cats. You do realize that Jack Russell would walk its jaw. I just don't think many of them could like they, they'd get to my like ankles and I'm like oh so you no, think of Jack ankles. Russell I don't think uh, I'll be honest I don't think I yeah. could do that I was thinking like I was, I was literally thinking what's bigger than a cat 100 Jack Russells that's what I'm going with that's my answer lock in you know what no you cannot take on 100 Jack Russells I reckon I could what are they going to do like, I'm just going to like like if they they can lock in there's 100 of them and they're hun- they're, do you know what a Jack Russell was built to do which is done, oh wait, what am I thinking? What's a Jack do? Russell? I think I'm thinking of a sausage dog. Is that the same size? <laughs> Damn, you're gonna take my answer. I'm gonna do easy cats. That's gonna be my thing. I was gonna go Dutch hand. Oh yeah. Was, oh Jack. Oh Jack Russell's slightly bigger. I wanted sausage dog. That's what I was going for. A, a, oh, dash, a, dash, a dash hound. A dash hound. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. You could only have it, but they all, they all have to be called. Is that the same size as a cat? Huh? Mm. No, I actually think the cat might be a little bit bigger. I said you can have the Dutch hounds, the hundred Dutch hounds, but every single one has to be called Goering. Goering? What's that? The German general. I'm making a, I'm making a German joke. I'm making a World War II joke. Fully over my head, unfortunately, matey. I'm glad you explained it for the audience as well. Luftwaffe. <laughs> he, 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 was head, he was ahead of the Luftwaffe. Well, that didn't land, did it, guys? I mean, woof. Ah. <laughs> that was... <laughs> <laughs> a nice old third Reich joke, my favourite. <laughs> yes. I thought you being an airy little boy would get it. I mean, you know. True. This, I, is, coming I, from a, this is coming from a brown Ju- uh, brown Spurs fan. Spurs <laughs> oh fan. my god, wait, what? You're not Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm part Jewish. There. But uh, anyway, Jack Russell is what I'm locking in. Jack Russell, I can take on 100 Jack Russells. You think you can take on 100 Jack Russells? Yes. That's my plan. Okay. That's my would you rather. Oh no, one. I can take a hundred British uh, English bulldogs. Done. Uh, that's just you run away from them and then until they run out of breath and they die. Like, they just they're just <laughs> like, they they're breathe, bigger right? than a Jack Russell. They're bigger than a Jack Russell. That's so true. therefore, go. You have to beat. You have to top that. Go. Oh, what's bigger than that? That's like not like lethal. I mean, you pick Jack Russell. That's pretty damn lethal. They can lock their jaws in. They're designed for. They're designed for rabbiting and rutting. Designed for rabbiting and ratting, so that's what they're designed for. Yeah, but British Bulldog's a good one. British Bulldog's a good one. Because, yeah, you just outrun them, right? And just, they just kill themselves. Uh, I presume you mean in the thing's natural habitat, like the old rules. Like, I can't just say fish and just let them all just die on land. No, 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 in your natural habitat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I could take on like, 100 sharks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> and just, just, like, just fall out the sky and I... Like, I could take on like, 100 blue whales on land. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did you know... That that... About that. Oh, God. Oh, do you think a hundred blue whales will fit up Luxembourg? No, no, I don't. I don't know. A blue whale's pretty long. A blue whale do is you the think, largest think... animal that ever lived. Do you know that? Yeah, I've said that before. Yeah, I know that. It's the largest yeah, animal that's I... ever lived. Like it's bigger than any dinosaur ever. Well, that we know of so far. Yeah, there's been nothing undiscovered that was ever larger than a blue whale, which is really cool. Even megalodons, they're not bigger. Like people would be like, oh, what about that? But no, no, blue whale is the largest animal that's ever lived. As far as we know. I mean, it, know. just be honest, it, it's... I feel like something probably has done that size before. We just mm. don't know it. I doubt it, you know? I doubt it. Just because... I don't know. Evolution is clever, and the water... Things that live in the water, that we've got so little fossils that, from the water and everything else. It's probably gonna. It's it probably does exist. What do you mean? We've got know. loads of fossils from water. Yeah, but most of the fossils come from most fossils that we have are land animals, not water animals. We've got mosasaur, plesiosaur, megalosaur. I'm not saying I'm not saying we haven't got any. I'm saying yeah. most of the fossils we have are land or flying animals, not water based. Uh, I don't know that. Not, I don't know the difference sea, there. So yeah, not sea or amphibious based because it's think about it, most of the ocean. Is still. I say most of the ocean is still ocean. Most of the ocean is still ocean. Do you mean unexplored? Most of the ocean is still unexplored. Yeah, but we can't actually explore it for fossils. For to explore for fossils, True. you have to move around rocks and everything else and stuff like that. And if you're looking Makes for something sense. bigger than that lived at, at those times, that was bigger than the blue whale, most likely where that fossil is going to be is probably at the bottom of the ocean where we haven't been to before. Mm. Just thinking about that. Have you seen the Meg? 
No. Oh, mate. You want me to see the Meg? I'll, see, I'll tell you what, I'll watch the Meg just for Joel for the next podcast. If anyone wants to watch the Meg, do it. It's one of my favourite films. It's about it's, a Megalodon. It's, and it's sick. It, it's it's it, it's don't expect anything intelligent. It's about it's like the Fast and Furious, but with a shark. Yes, a really big a really big shark, but a shark. What I would like to say is that I've really started loving Jason Statham films again. I've always been a Jason Statham fan. When you just want mindless action, nothing good to go on. But he's great. Yeah, I um, watched Cranked. I've watched Death Race, and obviously the Meg is something that I would recommend. Um, apparently, he's in something called Celia as well, which I'm going to watch soon. Um, just give all right. Jason Statham films for the next week. If you guys want to watch, I guess we'll have a little chat about it. The Meg. <laughs> Boom. Anyway, I think we're going to wrap up there, mate. All right. Wonderful. Sweet. Thank you so much for listening again. You guys, are, we're absolutely loving it. Thank you so much. Do sign up for uh, or find us on Facebook and Instagram. Best way to talk to us. Ask us what you want to see. Um, otherwise, we're just going to keep doing what we're doing. Um, love your faces, and we'll see you in the next one. Yep. See you later. Bye, mates. <laughs>